Hey there, thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. And in this video, I will help you understand what are Google conflicting accounts. Now, if you are a Google admin who would be responsible for managing Google Enterprise services for your organization, I would highly, highly recommend you to understand what are Google conflicting accounts and how you can resolve them because that will then set up a solid foundation for you to start leveraging Google Enterprise services. Let me share my presentation and help you understand what are Google conflicting accounts. Okay, to understand Google conflicting accounts, all you need to do is just remember these three simple facts. Fact number one, which is email address is a unique attribute or a unique property, which means if I have an email, which is let's say ABC, at gmail.com or abc at goldiarora.com, nobody else on this planet can have that same email address because email address is unique, okay? Now, the second fact is that you can create Google accounts in two ways. Either you can create it for your personal use, for example, user at gmail.com or user at your domain.com. Now, the second way is that you can sign up for Google Enterprise Services and you will get an enterprise admin console where you can create your Google work accounts. So two ways to remember to create Google accounts. And then the final fact number three is that when you create Google personal account for your personal use, you can create those accounts even with your corporate email address. For example, user at your domain.com. Okay, so just remember these three simple facts and then you should be fine. Now, let's take an example scenario here. I have a company and the company's domain is goldiearora.com. Okay, now we have an employee called Jason who uh, maybe started using Google Ads or some other services or maybe using uh, or want to use Google account for personal use. But instead of signing up for at gmail.com, he has an email on our corporate domain, which is jason at goldiero.com. So he goes to Google account sign up page. And instead of leveraging gmail.com, he signs up for personal Google account with his corporate email address, which is jason at goldiero.com. Okay. So far, so good. Jason has now got a Google personal or we also call it consumer account because he signed up with Google's consumer terms of services, which means whatever data he's going to put in this account will belong to him as an individual and not to his business. OK, now so far, so good. But after six months, Jason's company, which is goldier.com, now decides to leverage Google's enterprise services. Maybe they want to uh, move to Google Workspace for email and collaboration, or maybe want to use Google Cloud Platform or for, for infrastructure or something. Now, when goldiero.com registers their domain with Google to leverage Google's enterprise services, Google will say, OK, well, here is the admin console where you can go ahead and create accounts for all of your employees. but out of those employees, one is Jason, okay? So your admin or this goldiero.com's admin would go to administration portal that is uh, provided by Google and tries to create all of their user accounts and he did great. But when this admin tries to create Jason's account, he sees this message, which is user already exists. And do you know why? You are right. If you go back to fact number one, that was, email address has to be unique. So if Jason has already created an account with Jason at goldiero.com in Google's infrastructure as a consumer or personal account, he is already there and Google won't allow you to create two different accounts with that same email address. And hence Google shows you this message telling you that this user already exists as a consumer or individual account. So what do we have now? Well, you are absolutely right. This account is a 
conflicting account because there is a conflict. So just to recap, an account with corporate email address that exists in Google's infrastructure as a personal or consumer account becomes a conflicting account when this corporate registers their domain with Google to create work accounts for using Google's enterprise services like Google Cloud Platform or Google Workspace, Google Analytics, etc. Now, what do we do when we have the conflict? Well, we resolve it, right? So there are two options to resolve conflicting accounts, and that's what I'm going to cover in the next video where we'll go in details of your options, pros and cons of each of our options, along with my recommendation. So with that, stay tuned for the next video. And in case if you have any questions, comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.